Kathleen, which made landfall in Florida's Big Bend region as a massive category for a hurricane, has become the deadliest mainland hurricane since Katrina. Recovery now continues into its second week. Allie Lynch joins us now with more on where recovery efforts stand in Tennessee and across the region. Well, Nikki, good morning. Deaths from Helene nationwide have reached at least 227 people. The remnants battered communities, leaving hundreds still without water, internet, and power. In East Tennessee, there are 17 confirmed fatalities. FEMA has established a disaster recovery center in Unicoi County. Several wastewater treatment plants are still reporting problems due to flooding impacts, as well as drinking water facilities. Of those, 10 facilities have now issued a boil water advisory. And beginning this morning, burn permits are required for anyone burning leaves or natural vegetation, including debris from Helene. The Tennessee Division of Forestry requires permits for anyone starting a fire within 500 feet of a forest, grassland, or woodland until May 15th. And this morning, TDOT says they are getting closer to reopening part of I-40 for local traffic only. However, no exact date has been set. I-40 and I-26 at the North Carolina and Tennessee border are closed indefinitely. Officials say it will stay this way until the infrastructure of those roads can be evaluated. And our parent company is partnering with the Red Cross to continue raising money for victims of Hurricane Helene and Hurricane Milton. If you want to help out, you can scan the QR code there on your screen or visit our website at WKRN.com. Neil.